Welcome to Sunday School for Sunday, September 22nd, 2024. For our junior high students, ages 12 to 14, I do not own the rights to this music. The title of today's story, Be Healed. Orban's reading comprehension test about how the human body healed had a large D- minus at the bottom. He slumped up to his teacher's desk at the end of the day. How do I do this? You mean, how do you perfect your work? Orvin looked at the paper, the big letter grade at the bottom, and back to the teacher. Yes, he mumbled. He secretly hated how Mrs. Elizabeth expected so much from the class. They had to even talk about perfecting their work rather than correcting it or making it better. Who used words like perfect if they weren't French? Ask for help, said Orban's teacher. You can't do it alone. That's why I'm here to help. I'm the teacher. You're the learner. Well, Orban stammered. He wasn't used to asking for help. He was an older brother and he was the one his siblings asked for help. It's okay, Orban. Miss Elizabeth said, I'm not going to bite you. She shuffled papers on the desk and resumed her work waiting for Orvin to consider his options. I need help, Miss Elizabeth. She stopped and looked at him in a measuring way. Good, she smiled. Let me do that. And she did help. Orvin felt relieved that he didn't have to understand everything. And he felt even better that his teacher was able to instruct and teach him. He didn't hate her. He noticed. He actually appreciated her. The memory verse is Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Our lesson scripture is Jeremiah chapter 33, verses 2 through 11. Thus saith the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it, to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. For thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city, and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but it is to fill them with the dead bodies of men, whom I have slain in my anger and in my fury, and for all whose wickedness I have hid my face from this city. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return, and will re and will build them as at the first, and I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, whereby they have sinned against me, and I will pardon all their iniquities, whereby they have sinned, and whereby they have transgressed against me. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise, and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them, and they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Thus saith the Lord, Again there shall be heard in this place, which ye shall be which ye say shall be desolate, without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, that are desolate, without man and without inhabitant, and without beast, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endureth forever, and of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. For I will cause to return the captivity of the land, as at the first, saith the Lord. Improbable possibilities. God told Jeremiah that his people would be healed, transformed, renewed, and restored. All those words and images were significant to God's people. They held tightly to their shared background. Jerusalem would again hear voices filled with joy and praise. Those voices would erupt because of the healing and restoring work of God. How to stay hopeful. F. Fill your emotions fully without ignoring them. O. Order your thoughts by reading scripture and meditating on it. Come to your friends and mentors when you feel hopeless. 
Use the resources of the Christian tradition to help you pray. Seek God's future for your life by listening to wise counselors. Jeremiah hears from God. Answer the true and false questions. Number one, God will reveal secrets to Jeremiah. Is that true or false? Number two, the Babylonians weren't coming to take Jerusalem. Is that true or false? Number three, God abandoned the fighting men because of their sin. True or false? Number four, God's plan was to heal, damage, and forgive rebellion. Is that true or false? Number five, people would marry again and be happy. Is that true or false? Creating beauty and hope. Use stories you've heard from the week to create with your classmates a visual image of restoration and hope. Think about the stories you've seen in the news or heard in the conversations you've had with people this week. How would it look for God to heal those situations and restore those places of brokenness? Draw it with as much creativity and color as you can. Hoping in the Lord Often, when they have done wrong things, people reach a point where they wonder which way to turn. Circumstances can turn us away from hope. It can be hard to have faith. How can people seek renewal and accept help to turn their lives around? Jeremiah says God is willing to forgive and bring recovery and restoration. God can turn us to a restored future. Listing your hopes and dreams. How often do you talk about your hopes and dreams? God is just as interested in your hopes as he was in Israel's hopes. Spend time this week thinking about what you like to see in your life this month, this year, and further into the future. Write your hopes down and share them with someone you admire. The end. God bless you. Thank you for joining me today.